What's up everybody, it's Chris with Lion Punch Forge. A little, uh, little adventure today. I'm here with my good friend Charity. Say hi Charity. Hi. Ghost Town Meadowworks. We are in the middle of a scouting trip to our guided rockhound tour that happens in two days. Uh, you'll watch this video probably after the classes have happened, but I wanted to at least film a little adventure video for the day. Rock hounding with Ghost Town Metalworks and family. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, just kind of show you what we find. Um, since the Rock Hound class has already happened, we're looking at two places. Uh, first one is going to be Saddle Mountain. We're going to be looking for some opalized petrified wood. And then if we have time, we're going to check out another area for maybe some pink opal. Um, that's kind of what we're going on right now. This is my view at the window. That is the Columbia River. Basalt. <laughs> Lots of basalt. Just and traffic. And charity. And this is basically what we're going to be doing for ooh, probably another half hour, 40 minutes driving to the spot. And then uh, once we get there, we'll go ahead and uh, turn this thing back on, do a little bit more filming, say hi, uh, show you the material that we're finding. And uh, that's about it. If you guys haven't already, down below go ahead and hit that red subscribe button if you like these kind of videos everybody loves rock counting right shiny gems jewels <laughs> as Zephyr says so uh, Chair do you have anything to add for the adventure uh, so we have another car in tow the rock counting classes we'll be doing this week are caravanning style so all of our students will be taking their own rigs out um, there's a few reasons for that but um, today's like our test run for it so Rose is actually behind us um, and she has an Instagram that's Sunrise Rose Jewelry if you'd like to follow her there um, she's kind of someone that I've been uh, mentoring and, and teaching to metalsmith a little bit um, but she's in tow with a car full of kids so it should be quite the adventure today the kids range from four and a half to 16 and a half so it's gonna be fun I'm looking forward to getting there and eating because I'm already hungry that always happens on road trips yeah that's the fun part let's go ahead and uh, get there have some snacks find some rocks and uh, have some fun so that's what we've got going on today and uh, figured we bring you guys along thanks for watching and check out these views Hey everyone, we're back. We're back on site. Um, we've been finding a lot of cool stuff. Uh, a little bit here, a little bit there. For the majority of the time, it's been uh, just kind of chips and stuff like that. Piece of petrified wood. I'm just walking the road, looking for stuff on the surface. Like that. Like that. Put those down. And I'm just, I'm not even digging. I'm just looking around, taking stuff off the top. Fun stuff like that. Here's a good one. So you can come up here, not have to dig. Just kind of do some walking around, looking. I'd prefer not to dig anyway, because, well, you got to fill in your holes. And if you don't fill in your holes, I kind of consider you a jerk. So I like taking stuff off the surface, stuff that comes up every year, erodes out. And uh, it leaves everything just the way I found it. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Here's a view from top. Down there is, you can't see it, but Matoa, Washington. Today was a real quick trip. Just kind of a uh, scouting trip for a class that we're doing. Um, we wanted to see what the material looked like, whether or not it was worthwhile. And we're finding some cool stuff. There you go.
Forge. I'm back in the car with Charity from Ghost Town Metalworks. Hey, she's driving right now. Can't talk. <laughs> um, our Saddle Mountain trip was decent, but I don't really believe there was enough material there to make it like a decent tour trip for the classes that we're kind of planning. So we found some good stuff, and I'll throw some pictures and stuff like that into uh, the production as it goes show you exactly what it looks like uh, what we found but tomorrow we're going to be going out again and I'll probably splice that video into the same video you can kind of watch that watch the scouting adventures so um, here are some pictures of some of the stuff that we found um, probably won't be going there as of yet for a class but it was a nice jaunt it was a nice trip and of course we got some fresh air and got to yeah, see some new stuff so uh, that's about it um, we're gonna go ahead and sign off for now and let you look at some pretty petrified wood from Saddle Mountain rocks, and rocks <laughs> lots of rocks and then uh, you'll see where we go tomorrow so here we are scouting um, that's about it so thank you for watching today's epic failure <laughs> not <laughs> quite not a quite a failure it was a it was a good trip we just didn't feel like there was enough material there to make a decent uh, field trip for people to find their own stuff and then be taught how to lapidary it all up and the good stuff so yeah lots of like shards and slivers not a lot of like big chunky pieces they could actually like slice and slap and yeah. uncap so that's, that's what happens you test it out you see see what uh see what you can find always have a backup plan um and make sure that if you're going to do something like this you pre-plan so that's what we're doing you just get to watch the process so thanks for watching and let's see where we go tomorrow hey everyone sorry about the wind noise yeah we are above ellensburg washington right now so wind is a, a daily occurrence hopefully it's not too bad and if it is bad i can try and take it out in post-production um, right now we're working on spot number two doing a little bit of scouting uh, we're finding a lot of uh, a lot of material that would be good for a class we are also finding a lot of trash that we're trying to figure out how we want to uh, manage uh, the stewardship part of our classes you know picking up what should have been picked up a long time ago um, so as you can see we've got some pretty views you got charity down there wearing purple I don't know if you can see her I don't know what she's doing probably found something cool but we've got lots of uh, lots of blue skies, lots of fun scenery, and all sorts of neat stuff to look at. So now that I'm dizzy, we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit more searching. Um, after this, we've got one more spot we're gonna check out, um, see how that looks, and we're gonna go ahead and pick between one of the three spots for the class tomorrow and on Saturday. So. Thank you guys for watching so far and uh, take a look at some uh, some scenery going to the next spot. This spot um, has some nice common opal and some agate in it. I'll uh, insert some pictures of what that material looks like once we uh, once I stop, once I'm near an area where I can do a little bit more photography. But this is it. Nice pretty place. Probably face is looking a little washed out, but ah, it's nice. Take a look, enjoy.
Hey everyone, it's Chris. We're at the third spot. I uh, did a little looking around. There was nothing really noteworthy to uh, to show. Charity did find a uh, snake skin. Would you say a bull snake? Yep. Yeah, bull snake, snake skin. Uh, she got that for other reasons in her backpack. So something fun, something for display. Um, I picked up a bunch of uh, a bunch of bones, like old weathered bones that I found. Um, but as far as rocks, there was not a whole lot for us to find. Um, so this spot is kind of ruled out for uh, any kind of class at the moment. So I will give you a little view. It is pretty, but it is not exactly what we're looking for when it comes to a place to rock hound. Definitely beautiful. <laughs> Definitely worth seeing. Uh, not for rock hounding. What do you think, Charity? Spot. Yeah, and definitely. It's nice to come poke around the desert. Yeah. There are lots of cool basalt formations out here with lots of cool lichen and lots of wildflowers this time of year. So. I did find a couple uh, nice wildflowers. I took some pictures of. I'll put those in the video here. Uh, I know Charity got a lot of other photos from some other things. You look down here. I don't know if you can see them on video, but there's a bunch of baby dragonflies running around, hanging out in the sun the one down over here so very pretty pretty area um just not exactly what we're looking for for a guided tour or a class so uh chalk it up to having a good day driving around poking around the desert not so good of a day trying to figure out whether or not we can uh, rock out here now we know so continue poking out around continue exploring um that's how you find the good spots you go where other people may not want to go. You uh, go where, uh, you know, the the load is, road is less traveled. I think it's always worth it just because you packed a snack and got to go on an adventure. So it's yeah. not always about getting to come home with a bounty. Which is why I took the time to take pictures of wildflowers and all this other stuff is that we just live in a really beautiful state. Just soak it all in. I took a bunch of uh, panoramic pictures too. Yeah, it's good stuff. It's gorgeous. Clouds in this part of Washington are amazing. You guys can see in the video, they're just phenomenal. And then the uh, the desert scenery. So, yeah, good time all together. Um, we'll put all this video together, let you guys kind of watch a little exploration, exploration. I need something to drink. My throat's a little dry from being out in the desert. This video Charity's. is sponsored by A and W. Not really. <laughs> Sorry, this is going on YouTube. A and W, I apologize. Um, if there's anything that we said or did during this video that you disapprove of, uh, I apologize. I cancel it. Not sponsored by a &W. <laughs> But if, uh, you know, if you do see this video and you like what Lion Punch Forge and Ghost Town Metalworks are doing, um, I'm, I'm willing to open up the conversations to possible, possible uh, sponsorship. So This is the last time yeah. Chris lets me on his YouTube so videos. Last time, last time charity gets to be live. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see you guys. Are you guys. live right now? No, well, yes, we're on live video, but we're not like live live. But I can but edit it's not that. Live video, it's just no, I can video. edit that out, but I'm not gonna. Well, you say sponsored by, and then just to bleep it out, and it'll sound like you said a cuss word. Sponsored by. <laughs> bleep. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below. Uh, I'll try and get some more fun videos on exploring and kind of the behind the scenes class stuff that we're working on. So, talk to you soon, and thanks for watching.